Hey Earth Signs, welcome to Pure Black Magic Tarot. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning in to these messages. This is going to be your weekly energy update for the week of November the 19th through the 25th, give or take a couple of days. Very general messages for the Earth Sign Collective, so please do not force this reading to fit. If you would like to book a private reading with me, all of my booking information is going to be listed in the description box below. Um, and if you are new here, you will find partial video uploaded to YouTube on Mondays. If you would like early Sunday access and full access to these weekly messages, you can find it on my Patreon. It's going to be Pure Black Magic on Patreon, and that link is also listed in the description box below. All right. So let's see what's going on with your energy this week, Earth Signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, what is it that you need to know? What energy is coming towards your way for this week? Alrighty. Ooh, deception and envy is showing up here, okay? Um, there could be somebody who is like a lack of trust or, um, or some sort of insecurity, okay? It's showing up here. Uh, you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You don't have to be. And then we have harmony is here. Somebody could like not trust you or they lack some sort of confidence um, when it comes to themselves or you or they just don't, I don't know, they just don't believe you, <laughs> okay? When it comes, they just don't believe you, Earth Science. That's what it feels like. Obstacles and challenges, the universe card here, trapped in fear and recognition and reward. Yeah, like somebody... I'm going to have to clarify to see what this deception and envy is, to be honest. You could just honestly be dealing with a shady individual, but there's some sort of self-sabotage. Maybe you're dealing with a person like that, okay? What's deception and envy? Why is this here for my earth signs? The year of 76, 1976 could be significant. Um, why is deception and envy here for my Virgo, Tauruses, and Capricorns this week, spirit? The world card, the two of swords is here. Hmm. It's like a hidden energy. And then the five of swords is here. Could also be dealing with the Leo, Taurus, um, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Even with the two of swords and the five of swords gives the seven of swords, which is the deception and envy energy. What's the world card? Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Hierophant. Somebody you're around, they could be getting deceived, okay? Um, they could be deceiving you. For some of y'all, this is somebody you're in a relationship with or something like that. Um, you have history with, they could be deceiving you for somebody that's deceiving them. Or there's just somebody around you that, like, I don't know. There's deception. Whether they're deceiving you or not, there could be somebody that's wanting to kind of like, they don't have good intentions for this person. Maybe they want to rekindle. Maybe they want to be their friend again or something like that. It's the two of swords. The ace of cups, the five of pentacles is here. Yeah. And the high priestess. Like somebody is like serves as a blockage to your intuition or serves as a blockage to somebody else's intuition around you. Somebody could be love bombing you or love bombing a person around you, whether this is your significant other, or, you know, however it resonates. Um, I don't know. This person is confused. Feels like what's the five of swords? Death card of Scorpio could be significant. Five of wands is here. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like somebody is not wanting, like if this is your person, somebody is not wanting to let them go, okay? Not wanting to end things with them or they want to rekindle some sort of energy with them or get them back in some sort of loophole of something as they are trying to come towards you, okay? It's like interfering. Somebody's serving as a blockage. Um, or even if it's not like your person, there's somebody, I don't know who's being naive or they're being deceived or... They lack some sort of confidence, like there's insecurities or self-doubt or some sort of self-sabotage that's showing up. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see what the harmony card is. 
or there's something that's not over in this person's life, whether you know about it or not. Somebody's not being honest with themselves and or not being honest with you. What's the harmony? Somebody could, for some of y'all too, there's somebody that could be like exploring other options or trying to go back to something from the past because they don't feel good enough for you. Um, or they're trying to like act like you're not their person or you weren't, you were not right in a situation. Like they don't want to give in to some sort of energy concerning you or admit that you were right. Or it's something like that going on here. What's harmony? But it also has a lot to do for a lot of y'all um, with another person, like this negative influence. Why is harmony here? Or something linked to their past, somebody linked to their past. The strength card is here, the ace of swords is here, and the hermit card is here. I mean, Leo Virgo energy. Maybe you're ghosting this person or you have ghosted this person or you need to ghost this person. You can have fond memories of someone or you can want the best for someone or, you know, you could be deceiving yourself also like rose colored glasses when it comes to a particular person or situation. What's the strength card? Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords three times in three different ways showing up here. Seven of Wands, that's protection, blockage. Seven of Cups, seven, seven, seven showing up here. Okay. Um, or somebody could just be dealing with some sort of, they're fighting some sort of temptation, whether it's internal or external. And it's like, maybe the situation is not ready yet, or this person cannot be trusted until they figure something out or gain some sort of backbone. Ace of Wands, Page of Cups is here, and the Three of Wands, okay? Um, or somebody's not coming. So for some of y'all, somebody is entertaining the idea of somebody outside of you, which is why they're not really, you know, committing to you, or it's some sort of energy, Whereas somebody might be um, going against what they know is right or going against your advice or I don't know. What's the Hermit card? Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles is here, um, and the Five of Cups. I feel like it's a personal situation that you want or you want to help or you want something to manifest. Um, but it just does not feel realistic, Earth Signs. What's the Seven of Swords? The Empress, the Two of Wands is here, and the Three of Pentacles. Or somebody could be doing something behind somebody's back. The King of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know her signs. What's your advice for dealing with this person or this situation? I mean, not of pentacles. This is given to free yourself or not get too involved or too attached. You're just focus on yourself. Do what's healthy for you. Focus, focus on your independence, your, your singleness, okay? Um, that is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The Fool card is here. The Sun card is here. And the Eight of Swords is here. Like somebody could be afraid to leap or to let go or they lack some sort of, I keep getting, they lack some sort of confidence or vulnerability or something like that. Six of wands, nine of wands is here and yeah, and the, and the two of cups or somebody is very ego driven or they like attention or, or something like that. Eight of wands or they're getting attention from somebody else. Somebody wants to make up with them or make peace with them or something like that. This person needs to learn how to do something on their own or for themselves and it's nothing you can do to like help them figure it out so i'm gonna leave it here for uh the youtube version we're about to hop over to patreon again if you guys would like to join us the link is in the description box below but if this is where we part ways thank you guys love you guys and i'll catch you on the next video